today it is hot so i'm just over here sipping ice water and trying to stay cool if you're in florida you know it has just been no joke lately but anyway we are back with another thrift haul been following along with my videos um, you know that I have been traveling a lot with my family with my husband's family and with my family so we took two trips one up to Steenhatchee Florida and then the other up to Maine so we did lots of stuff but of course I had to check out some of the thrift stores and antique stores since we were in smaller towns I feel like the thrifty in small towns is always better so that's my little hot tip at least what what I find let me jump right into it I was very excited about one thing in particular that we found which my husband actually pointed out and it was similar in a way to one that I found and bought home and showed you all a few weeks ago and that he, I, he really didn't like. So this one kind of redeemed it. It actually had a little secret on the back, which I'll show you at the end. All right, so let's go thrifting. So like I said, we were in very small towns and this is where I believe the best thrifting is. So I would love to hear in the comments down below where you guys are from and if you have good thrift stores there. Oh yeah? <laughs> Whenever there are crafting supplies at thrift stores, I always just have to take a peek, even if I do not need any more projects. These shoes were just too funny. So while my mom, sister, and I were thrifting, my dad and husband were actually out fishing. And so I thought this would have been the funniest joke for them. But yeah, $10 was a little much to spend on a practical joke, which they would probably never wear these shoes. This piece wasn't for sale, but I just really liked the legs and the look of it. Even the handles on there were just beautiful in their detail. So now up in Portland, Maine, uh, we went to this little thrift store while we were in between activities and unfortunately I actually deleted most of my clips from here. So you'll just have to see what I brought home. We also stumbled upon this little side of the road garage sale, yard sale sort of thing and just decided to take a look and allow the kids to take a break from the car and to stretch our legs. And they had some really beautiful things. Most of the things were about $5 to $10. Um, nothing was marked with prices. I usually never look at the jewelry just because you never really know what the quality of this stuff is but I did take a look this time just because the seller had so much of it and I found some really sweet pieces. old family they looked like family prints and it made me realize that i need to talk to my grandparents to see if they have any prints that they are willing to part with that i could use in my home If we hadn't been traveling, I completely would have gotten these for like storing magnet tiles or Legos stacked in the corner. They would have just been perfect. And I loved the lining. I thought it was just so sweet.
sure what these were. They looked like punch out puzzle pieces. If anyone knows what these are, I would love to know. I did not even let myself look through this box of books because I did not have the weight left for my suitcase. We also popped into this church-run thrift store, which I feel like are probably the best thrift stores because people are more willing to part with like better quality items since it goes to their church and a good cause. But I did want to show this clips, even though I know this is a ton of clips because I ended up not getting anything here and that is totally fine. A lot of times I actually walk out of thrift stores with nothing and I think that is the skill of a like good thrifter when you are able to say that, you know, you don't really need anything here. You just browse, take a look and maybe get some ideas for future projects or for things that you do want to keep an eye out for. oddly more expensive than anything else in the store but i thought it was really pretty uh the color is a little bit light for me i prefer like a darker blue but i just have a soft spot for beautiful pottery does anyone know what this copper thing is i would love to know what it is i was thinking maybe it was like for incense maybe but let me know in the comments below if you know what this is for regret not getting this this is just such a unique piece i've never seen a brass vase i'm not sure if you you probably shouldn't put water in it but i just feel like dried flowers might be kind of cool show you what we got at that like side of the road garage sale sort of thing so there's a really sad story about one of the things that we got so I'll I'll tell you that in a second this was one of the things that I did find and that I loved it is like just a floral kind of arrangement thing um, behind glass and I thought it was really unique very feminine so I'll probably like pair it with something very masculine to kind of balance things and make it match my aesthetic um, it definitely is old, but I don't think it's like an antique or anything. It just says made in Belgium side art. So I don't know. I thought this one was pretty cool and it's in pretty good condition. So that is probably going to be a part of our gallery wall, which is going to go onto this very blank wall behind me. Um, stay tuned for that next week. So the very sad thing that happened was I bought two bracelets, which the lady there said that they were gold plated. I'm not gonna like, you know, count on that. You, you just never know. Uh, I just really liked them. So this was one of them. It's this like gold um, chain, just plain chain. I really love gold jewelry, really simple jewelry that you can just like wear all the time and not worry about like dishes getting, you know, soapy water, whatever it is. The other one, I'll insert a picture of it here. Um, I love this one. <laughs> You might have mixed opinions about it. It says Pearl and then on the back it says from Johnny and I just thought it was just so cool. Like just like a part of history right here. Um, so the unfortunate part of this is that we went to a lighthouse after we went to this sale and I was like carrying Benjamin and you know kids and everything and it just it, it fell off. I lost it. So it must have gotten snagged and just fell and I don't know so I hope that someone finds it and loves it because it is like a very unique piece I don't know if you know everyone would think it was treasure <laughs> but I thought it was such a sweet piece so I hope that someone is appreciating that bracelet and maybe it was maybe it made their day <laughs> so that's what I keep telling myself both so both of the bracelets were $15 together um, which is like a little expensive but I really really liked them so 
I guess now this one was $15. So this was another item that I got. Um, these are just little candlesticks. I thought they were really unique and I really liked the patina of them. This one got a little crushed in my suitcase. So I'm gonna have to like figure out how to re-bend that. I was being trying to be careful about buying things that were very like sturdy <laughs> since we did fly it to Maine. I think they were $3 for both of them. So now I'll jump back to Florida, Steenhatchee, Florida. So I got these bread pans. I have been looking for bread pans. The ones that I have, I thrifted. I think it was back in college and they are like super rusty now. They're like the metal kind that was nonstick, but I think I like left them in the sink with water in them, something like that. So they are just not safe. So I've been looking for the glass ones and typically these are like, you know, $10, $15 new. Um, and so these were only $4.50 each. And so I thought that was pretty good. This was something I needed. And since we drove there, <laughs> I didn't feel bad about carrying these back. I also found at this store, this one was, I think it was 75% off and it was only marked at $1.50. So less than a dollar for this one and i wanted this one for my buttons if you know <laughs> that i've been i've been wanting to organize my sewing things better and i thought this one was just perfect so i'm hoping to find like a larger one as well shouldn't be hard because these are pretty common um that has the same like closure thing and then i can put my thread in those and then have like these for my buttons or like the smaller closure things that's my thoughts. Another really practical item that I found at this thrift store was this bag. Um, it is a packet brand, which I have like a smaller version of this, like the lunchbox version. And the cool thing about it is the entire thing is an ice pack. It like has that stuff in it. So I was excited to get this one because I pump at work when I go in like one day a week. And so I need to have like a big <laughs> spot for like all the stuff. If you are a mother who pumps, you know. And so this one would be really good. And it's cute. I thought, it, I mean, it's, it's a little bright for me. It's not like the color choice that I would choose, but it's not bad. So this one just very practical and I believe it was $5. And then we'll jump back to Maine and I will show you the two things that I think were just like my favorite things that I found. Um, so first up was this table runner. This was $9 and I love the blue and white. I just thought that it was very classic. Um, I love this weave of it. Like the texture is just really nice. And I don't have any table runners and I've been looking for some that are neutral and that can like pair with lots of things. So I might use this on a console table that we have or on our kitchen table. But yeah, white with kids probably isn't a great idea on the kitchen table unless it's like an adult <laughs> dinner party or something, but I thought this would be really nice to add some texture to our home. I, my husband actually found this one. I would have missed it. <laughs> I totally would have missed it. I absolutely love it. I think it's just so special. I was speaking with a friend yesterday and we were talking about um, the fragrance of a home, specifically about the scripture in which um, the woman, Mary, um, dumps oil, fragrance, perfume all over Jesus' feet and how good that must have made like the entire home smell like. And we we're talking about like, what is the fragrance of our home? Like what, what do people smell? What do they see when they come in? And even like, what do our children see when they have, when they're in this environment all the time? And so I just try to make a conscious effort to bring beauty into our house and then specifically things that lead them to God. So for us, um, this is a beautiful image of Mary and of G baby Jesus, which is very relatable to a child um, and also to me as a mother. So I prefer to have like images of beautiful relationships um, that point me towards God. I know some people prefer to have like scripture on the wall or frames and that is beautiful as well that's just not exactly my like taste i guess and it was 15 dollars. and the secret <laughs> with this one which i didn't realize until we came back to our airbnb and we were looking at it more um is that on the back and we live in tampa florida so if this doesn't make sense um it says that fine custom framing tampa florida <laughs> I went all the way to Maine and came home with something 
from Tampa. I think that's just really funny. And yeah, we, we had a good laugh about it. This one might go in the gallery wall in here or it might go in my son's nursery. So those are the items that we got while we were traveling. And I'm just super happy with these treasures that I was able to come home with. And I hope you enjoyed coming along with me. So stick around for next week because I will be doing finally <laughs> the thrifted gallery wall, which I'm so, so excited for. I have big plans for that. I will see you all next week. Bye friends.